got a really cool story for you. This weekend, I was gonna try out the new 3D snake, which is a very cool lure. The new Savage Gear snake lure. All right, guys, look at this bad boy. Hey, look, it's not released in the US yet. It will be soon. And uh, But the problem was, I got stuck in the lake. What happened? I was going through my normal routine, going to the main lake through the, through the canal. And the wind just changed direction and pushed all these grass mats against the entrance where I, was, where I came out of. So what happened? I went to the entrance and saw it was, it was clogged up with 200 feet of grass flats. Now there's logs, there's grass flats, there's thick grass, all kinds of stuff in that stuff. You have no idea what you're gonna run into. So I turned out, I said, it's too risky. Let's turn around. Let's go find an exit on the other end of the lake. Guess what? There was no exit on the other side. All the grass pushed on the other side too. So basically I was in the middle of the lake and I had nowhere to go, man, nowhere to go. So I went back to the entrance and I said, okay, I got 200 foot or 100, 200 foot of, of flats to go through. What's on the other side? Can I get, can I punch through this 100 foot and get on the other side or no? Guys, hey look, I am stuck. The, uh, the wind changed direction and my exit back to the boat ramp is right here. Check that out guys. That is not good. So I went back the other direction and it's clogged up also. So there is no way out. The only water I have left is out here guys. Check this out, that's it. Basically, I am stuck. So, what I'm gonna have to do is put up my drone. So what I'm gonna do is put up my drone to see if there's a clearing on the other side of this, of this grass right here. Um, if it's clear, I'm gonna go ahead and run my boat through it. And I hope to goodness, I don't tear anything up and my boat gets through it, no problem. I know the water's really shallow, shallow right in here. I mean, really shallow. So I'm gonna take a head start over here and I'm going to crank that 150 and I'm going to punch it through guys and look I put it on video I just hope nothing wrong go, nothing bad uh, happens in the process there's only one way to find out and that's a drone guys so luckily I had a spare battery in my drone kit I took my battery put the drone up I look down and I say okay I got a clearing guys I can punch through this 100 150 foot of grass flats get my boat through and I'm free so at that point I took the risk, I backed the boat up about 100 feet, and man, I slammed the, I slammed the gas down, and I hit bottom. All right, everything connected. It was just too shallow for my boat to, uh, to go wide open right there. So I backed up another 25 feet, Hit the gas about 55 miles per hour, and I just kind of slid the boat, slid the boat to the other side. guys look uh, we just made it through man that's kind of exciting and a little scary at the same time uh, but look you gotta do what you gotta do you gotta you know you gotta get home you, gotta, you can't get stranded out here in the middle of nowhere so uh, the only bad thing is man my uh, my boat engine it's got all kinds of jacked up grass and and all that stuff around it so well uh, let's go ahead and clean that out so, uh, Right. Ooh, look at all that mess, man. That is Jack. Man, I was uh, cutting grass for sure. All right. All right, guys. I'm going to clean this out, get back to the boat ramp, and look, we made it out. And thank you so much, guys. I appreciate everybody watching. I definitely appreciate the likes and the comments. I read every one of those guys. Thank you so much. And man, I tell you, it was scary, 
but also also a little fun i will have to say but luckily i got through i didn't do any damage to the boat and guys that's the story all right i just want to share that with you and look guys like always i see you on the next video take care Gotta figure it out, right?